Good evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader. I'm Andrew Todd. In tonight's news, Bonnaroo 2022 has arrived. Motlow has announced an internship with uh, BASF and a local band student is offered a prestigious summer trip. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader. I am tremendously blessed to be living at Parkview and very happy to be part of a loving and caring community. Best thing you can say is, is this really a great place to live? That's all there is to it, no doubt about that. It's your home. You just do what you, what you would if you were at your private home. You know, we love it. It's great. It's just like having a whole neighborhood around you and, and, and it's fun. It's just a great place to live. So you've been meaning to do something healthy, commune with nature, get outdoors and meet new people. We have the perfect solution. Come hike with us. You can find a Tennessee Trails Association chapter near you, including Clarksville, Columbia Franklin, Highland Rim, Jackson, Knoxville, Oak Ridge, Memphis, Murfreesboro, Nashville, Plateau at Crossville, and Upper Cumberland. We're on the web at tennesseetrails.org. It's fun, it's stress-free, and it's good for you. See you on the trails. We teach Parkinson's patients how to move big and not let the Parkinson's slow them down. I've had patients I've treated in-house that could not even stand up, could not roll over in the bed, left the facility walking with a walker, have come back to us and outpatient and continued their big program and are now completely, you know, handling life. The success of the program is just phenomenal. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. This pandemic has hit us hard, but Tennesseans don't stay down for long. We're known for our resilience, and we refuse to back down from a challenge. This challenge is no different. You might be out of work, but there's an opportunity waiting for you. We need you to roll up your sleeves and join our workforce. Right now, thousands of jobs are ready to be filled. Find them at jobsfortn.gov. Let's get to work, Tennessee. Welcome back. Whether you're heading out to the farm or hunkering down to stay out of its way, Bonnaroo is finally back after two years of cancellations. To help alleviate traffic, clog ups are on I-24 relating to the festival not being allowed to use a temporary exit that let festival goers enter directly onto the farm. Owners Live Nation have allowed concert goers to start arriving this past Tuesday morning. Approximately 3,000 people came in on Tuesday and around 12,000 came in on Wednesday for some pre-festival camping parties and to get the best spots for up close and for their campsites. This year wasn't a sellout, but there will still be plenty of people in town for a long weekend of music and entertainment. News leaders Philip Scoggins and I went out Thursday morning to catch a little bit of the calm before the storm. Well, after two years, we are finally ready to get back to the farm. It's Bonnaroo 2022 with a fantastic lineup that includes Tool, J. Cole, Stevie Nicks, Robert Plant and Allison Krauss, Billy Strings, and so, so many more. It is great to be back here on the farm for Bonnaroo 2022. And if you want to check out our uh, coverage, definitely check out our Facebook page this weekend. Uh, we will have a lot of photos and a lot of things going down and make sure to check out uh, Saturday's news broadcast where we will bring you all the excitement that's coming down here on the farm at Bonnaroo 2022. Due to increased video restrictions, we won't be allowed to bring you much video from this year's headliners, but check out our News Leader on 6 Facebook page for exclusive photos of the festival all weekend long. And there will be more exclusive video from Bonnaroo on our Saturday news. We'll be right back after these messages. MacArthur Manor Assisted Living is passionate about creating better experiences for our Manchester seniors. Our residents describe us in a few words. Welcoming. When you walk through the doors at MacArthur Manor, we'll treat you like family. Caring. Through high standards of personalized care, we help residents live life to its fullest. Engaging. With a wide range of life-enriching activities, there is something for everyone at MacArthur Manor. With our residents and staff now vaccinated, call us today to schedule your safe and personalized tour. We tend to lose our motivation when we have something that's chronic, but you've got to do what you can early on as you can.
After I'd exercise like that, I would have a lot of energy to do housework or whatever I needed. Well, I would recommend it highly to anyone at any degree of Parkinson. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. I was skeptical about getting the COVID-19 vaccine. There are a lot of opinions being shared. But I had the chance to talk with my doctor about my concerns. He told me the vaccines are backed by decades of research and that the vaccines are proven safe and effective. Now I'm protected and ready to put this pandemic behind us. Join the millions of Tennesseans who have decided to give COVID-19 vaccines a shot. Visit covid19.tn.gov to find an appointment today. Welcome back. Montlow State Community College has partnered with BASF to develop an apprenticeship program at the chemical company's Sparta, Tennessee location. The ongoing partnership offers apprentices a unique opportunity to gain on-the-job training and earn industry-recognized credentials while receiving a full-time wage. It is part of BASF's North American Apprenticeship Development Program in conjunction with the U.S. Department of Labor Scaling Apprenticeship Partnership Grant administered by Motlow. President of Motlow, Dr. Michael Torrance, said, quote, the partnership provides BASF continual access to Montlow State students. Our graduates will be better prepared for industry needs and further upward mobility. We are thankful for the trust BASF is placing with us. The most valuable asset we have as a state is our citizenry." End quote. Apprentices will be trained on the job while earning industry-recognized credentials and academic credit leading to an associate degree. In addition to paying a competitive wage, BASF offers benefits and covers costs associated with the educational program. At the end of the apprenticeship, participants have the skills and credentials needed to continue their careers in manufacturing. Jonathan Weatherly, Vice President of Operations for Performance Materials and BASF North American Apprenticeship Development Program Executive Sponsor, said, quote, BASF has a strong need for a skilled and diverse workforce. This program is an investment in our future team. Our apprenticeship program underlines our commitment to being a responsible employer. We developed this initiative to give further empl future employees an attractive entry option to the chemical industry's promising careers." End quote. The National Association of Manufacturers Projects is a labor it project, projects, excuse me, a labor shortage of 2.4 million skilled workers through the end of the decade. The apprenticeship program aims to close this gap and support the manufacturing industry's efforts to secure a skilled workforce. And stay with us, more news is coming up in just a moment. It's not invoice. It's not MSRP. It's not Christmas Day, although it may feel like it. It's the lowest prices in Middle Tennessee, period. Get to Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac before these prices are gone forever. He's a little bit of you, he's a little bit of me. Fresh along the roads of Tennessee. He's the garbage that we find. He's the dream we left behind. Lord, there ain't no lower class than Tennessee trash. We have met the enemy, and he is us. Since the moment you were born, I've made a thousand wishes. Wishes for your future in a world that's changing fast. Do play and laugh. Do win and lose. Do it all with confidence, kindness, and strength. 
And always do your best to remember that no matter what you do in this life, what matters to me is that you keep doing. Welcome back. South Jackson Civic Center wrapped up its spring outdoor concert series with the Stan Allen Band. Here they are bringing you the Jimmy Buffett hit, Margaritaville. <laughs> Watching the sun bake All those two ribs covered with oil I'm on my front porch swing Strumming my six string Smell those shrimp they're beginning to boil After these messages, we'll be right back. I got a tour and I saw all the things and I was so excited about them. And she took me to the movie theater and it had red chairs. This is a done deal <laughs> and I like it. 
We have so many activities here that you just can't keep up with them all. We have exercise, we have coloring, we have crafts. It's uh, charming, it's attractive, it's very comfortable. It was one of the best decisions of my life. I had a knee replacement, so they got me at Life Care, which I'm very, very thankful for. I couldn't garden, I couldn't do my flower beds, I can't chase my little dogs. I have been in several therapy sessions for knees and back, and that's the best therapist I believe I've ever been to. It's tremendous because I'm able to walk again, but if it wasn't for the care, I wouldn't be where I am. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. You might be out of work, but there's an opportunity waiting for you. Right now, thousands of jobs are ready to be filled. New careers are ready to be started. So roll up your sleeves and join our workforce. Together, we can restore livelihoods, rebuild our economy, and return to our way of life. Find them at jobsfortn.gov. Let's get to work, Tennessee. Welcome back. While some students are still trying to figure out their summer plans, incoming Tullahoma High School senior Chloe Fuller has a unique opportunity. She will be attending the prestigious Interlochen Center for the Art Summer Camp in Michigan. According to Fuller, she learned about the Interlochen Center for the Arts while attending the Governor's School for the Arts during her sophomore year. After auditioning, Fuller was notified this spring semester that she had been accepted into the summer program. She is ecstatic to be attending from June 18th until August the 7th. Chloe said, quote, I am very excited to attend Interlochen Center for the Art Summer Camp. It's a very prestigious camp to be invited to attend. This camp experience will be a great tool for my growth and help me along my path to becoming a college professor of saxophone and a classical performer. I applied and was accepted into the one-week saxophone intensive program. Then a week later, I was offered an invitation and scholarship to also attend the six-week wind ensemble program." End quote. Since 1928, the Interlochen Center for the Arts has offered an immersive arts experience that fosters a sense of closeness discovered only through a deep shared appreciation. During its summer camp, the Interlochen Center for the Arts offers a diverse selection of summer programs in seven arts disciplines, including, including creative writing, dance, film, and new media, interdisciplinary arts, music, theater, and visual arts. Only 2,800 students in grades 3 through 12 from across the country are accepted into this summer program. THS co-band director Justin Scott said, quote, Miss Lisa Burden and I are extremely excited and proud of Chloe. Getting accepted into the Interlochen Arts Camp is one of the highest honors a high school musician can receive in our country. Chloe has always been an incredibly hard worker since starting in the band in the sixth grade. We know she will continue to achieve great things." End quote. Fuller has been around music her entire life as her dad played the saxophone. She followed in her father's footsteps, picked up the same instrument, and decided to join the TMS band program in the sixth grade. According to Fuller, that's one of the best decisions she has ever made as she loves getting to be part of the Tullahoma High School Band. She enjoyed getting to play beautiful music together with the band and feeling like one. As she looks ahead to the Interlochen Center for the Art Summer Camp, Fuller stated that she's excited to meet the other attendees. She's even more thrilled to be learning from some of the premier instructors in the nation. Chloe added, quote, The thing that I am most looking forward to is being able to study with Dr. Timothy McAllister, professor of saxophone at the University of Michigan. I am also very excited about being part of the Wind Ensemble, which will be a new experience. I've been fortunate to be a member of the Mid-State, All-State, and Honor Bands in Tennessee. Those are the events I look forward to all year. I cannot imagine how amazing it will be to play with an internationally sought-after sought after wind ensemble." End quote. Congratulations to Chloe Fuller on behalf of all of us here at Newsleader. And while we're waiting for the music to start up at Bonnaroo, here's a clip from the Tullahoma City Schools Spring Concert.
And stay with us, we'll have your weather forecast right after these messages. MacArthur Manor Assisted Living is passionate about creating better experiences for our Manchester seniors. Our residents describe us in a few words. Welcoming. When you walk through the doors at MacArthur Manor, we'll treat you like family. Caring. Through high standards of personalized care, we help residents live life to its fullest. Engaging. With a wide range of life-enriching activities, there is something for everyone at MacArthur Manor. With our residents and staff now vaccinated, call us today to schedule your safe and personalized tour. The individuals with dementia, those with Parkinson's, those that have maybe mobility issues, need caregivers. Well, those caregivers are 24 hours a day at home and they never get a rest. And if they have to go to work, they're kind of out of luck. So that's why Trinity came into existence 25 years ago, to allow the caregivers to have a safe center where they could put their loved ones, know they would be well cared for, stimulated, fed good nutritious meals, have activities to their level, and then the caregiver can stop by and pick them up and go on home and have some continuity into their life. To be honest, I was skeptical about getting the COVID-19 vaccine. I checked what the CDC says and spoke with my doctor about the potential side effects. It definitely made me much less anxious. She told me if I have some arm pain or feel tired, that's completely normal as my body builds a defense to the virus. I was willing to take the vaccine to protect me, my family, and my friends. Join the millions of Tennesseans who have decided to give COVID-19 vaccines a shot. Visit COVID19.tn.gov to find an appointment today. My husband was diagnosed with a spinal infection. He lost his ability to swallow and the movement of his legs. I couldn't turn over in bed, I couldn't walk, I couldn't eat. They were just wonderful in the treatment and care they gave my husband. I uh, regained my mobility where I was able to go home. It is miraculous. Let us champion your recovery. Life Care Center of Tullahoma. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this date. Our record high was in 1918 at 98 degrees. The record low for this day was 1917 at 43 degrees. Average high for this day is 85 and the average low is 64. Slight chance of storms for tonight with a low of 75. 30% chance of storms for Friday with a high of 93 and a low of 70. Sunny skies expected for Saturday with a high of 86 and a low of 61. And that's our news leader report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday evenings at 6, 8, and 10 p.m. for news leader. And if you're going out to Bonnaroo this weekend, Stay cool <laughs> and say hello to us if you're out there. We look forward to seeing you. Stay safe and have a great evening.